A small technology that can increase the efficiency of your solar system by up to 20%? Yes, we are talking about the micro inverter that comes from the company Hoy Miles. This inverter can increase the efficiency of your solar system by up to 20%. And how it works, how it is installed, you will get all this information in this video. Here we are going to test it with a meter that we have made. And first we will test with the meter how its calculation comes out, how much electricity it is generating from the solar panel. And after that we will show you how its data looks inside the app monitoring. So you will get complete information in this video. Before that, let us talk about the difference between a string inverter and a micro inverter. And what is special in a micro inverter that can increase the efficiency of your solar system by up to 20%. When we connect solar panels with a string inverter, mostly they are connected in series. For example, as you can see these 5 panels with me, all of them are currently connected in series to my inverter. And when shadow falls on them during noon time, their power generation becomes less than half. To avoid this problem, here we are going to use a micro inverter and we will show you that when shadow falls on one panel or even on two panels, the other panels will not be affected. With the micro inverter, you can connect different panels separately. And this micro inverter from Hoymails allows you to connect up to four panels. Earlier, you must have seen micro inverters for one or two panels in the market, but now you can get a micro inverter for four panels as well. So we'll connect four panels with it and show you the monitoring. Talking about the inverter, inside this box we get an inverter and this AC cable. We connect this cable with the inverter and the other side is directly connected to our distribution box. It gets connected very easily. This micro inverter is plug and play. Simply connect four panels with the inverter and then using this AC connector plug the inverter into your distribution box. Your inverter will start working. But before using this inverter, you must have a net metering connection. That means you must have an on-grid system connection at your home, otherwise you cannot use it. So let me take it out and show you what it looks like. With it, we also get a tool that helps in plugging and unplugging solar panel connectors or AC connectors. This is our inverter and its build quality is very good. Its weight is also good, around 3 kilograms. Judging by the build quality, we can say that it is a premium quality micro inverter. This side is for the AC connector and these wires are for connecting the solar panels. On one side, two panels will be connected and on the other side, two more. So in total, you can connect four panels. Now let us talk about its technical specifications. On top, you can see the model number HMS 2000DW 4 tons and inside it, you get a built-in Wi-Fi monitoring system. So you do not need any separate dongle. This is its most special feature. Its max input voltage range is 65 volts. The MPPT voltage range is from 16 to 60 volts. That means you can connect panels with a VOC from 16 volts to 60 volts. This means even if you connect a 500 to 600 watt panel, there will be no problem. Its startup voltage is 22 volts. So if the solar panel gives even 22 volts, it will start working. Its max continuous input current is 4 times 16 amperes, which means it supports 16 amperes per panel. The input short circuit current is 25 amperes. Its max continuous output power is 2 kVA, which means you can take around 2 kilowatts of power depending on the total wattage of the panels connected. Its max output current is 8.17 amperes AC. Its nominal output voltage is 230 volts. Its power factor is 0.99, which means almost no loss and very high efficiency. Its output frequency is 50 Hertz. Its peak conversion efficiency, which I mentioned, is 96.5%. Its IP rating is IP67, so it is fully protected from dust and dirt. You can install it comfortably under the solar panels. Some more information is also given, such as its protective class is 1, pollution degree is PD3, and the ambient temperature range is minus 40 to plus 65 degrees. It also has certifications, as you can see. Along with it, we get a user manual. If someone does not know the setup, they can take help from a technician or follow the manual. As I said, it is plug and play, so it is very easy to connect. Now we will show you, so you will know how easily it connects. This is the meter system that we have prepared. Since our micro inverter connects directly to the distribution box, and our distribution box is down while we will test on the roof, we prepared this system. We will connect it to the distribution box. Here we have installed a meter for load monitoring. After that, we have connected two sockets. On one socket, we will run our room heater, which takes a one kilowatt load. 
On the other socket, we will connect our micro inverter. This will help us see how much load the room heater is taking and how much load decreases, which will tell us how much power is coming from the solar panels. After that, we'll remove the room heater meter and show you how much power is coming from the solar panels, which will also be visible on the meter. Because when the load runs, the solar power will subtract from it. But when the load is removed, we will see the actual power coming from the solar panels on the meter. So now let us go to the rooftop, complete the setup and show you this complete system. So here we have brought the micro inverter and we will connect it with these two panels and also with the two panels above. Now we will directly test it through the meter and see how much power it generates. And then when shadow falls on these two panels, we will test it again and show you through the app monitoring how much power it is generating. With the inverter, we get the option to connect four cables as I mentioned earlier, but you must pay attention to the positive and negative sides. First, you need to check the wires coming from the solar panel and the connections you have made. Here it is clearly written which side is positive and which side is negative, so you can connect them correctly. So first we will connect one solar panel. Here is the first positive point and this is the positive wire coming from our solar panel. And this is our negative wire. So we have completed the panel connections. One and three are on this side and four and two are on the other side. Now we are going to connect this AC connector with it. And this is also very easy to attach. You simply need to push it properly and it should fit tightly. Now we will connect it with our box, the meter setup that we prepared. Here is the wire of our heater. As you can see, we have placed the heater over there and now we plug it into the first socket. So our heater has started running. You can see here that it is taking around 900 watts to 950 watts of power. It can even go up to one kilowatt depending on the condition. So I will show you continuously for a moment. It is running around 950 watts. Now this wire we connected to the micro inverter as you saw, we are going to plug it in here. And again, you must pay attention to positive and negative. The right side is the line which we call phase. You must connect it accordingly. So we have connected the wire. Now we will see how much power it reduces. Whatever power is subtracted here means that much generation is coming from the solar panels. It may take some time. So you can see it is slowly decreasing, which means power is coming from the solar panels. You can see it is coming down to around 10 to 12 watts, which means our solar panels are currently giving around one kilowatt of power. And because of that, our room heater is running continuously. Now, if we remove this heater, we will know the actual power being generated. Then the inverter will start sending the extra power back to the grid. So now we will show it by removing the heater. You can see this power now. It is showing 960 watts. The 10 to 12 watts that we were seeing earlier was being sent back to the grid, which means the inverter is generating more power than what the heater was taking. This is how it works. You can see it is completely simple and plug and play. Now our system is giving around 960 watts from the panels. Next, we will test it when two panels get shadow. After some time, the generation starts showing on the display. As you can see, our solar panels are generating 522 watts. I will also show you on the meter. You can see the meter is showing 520 watts. So our whole plant is working perfectly. If you want to check the per panel voltage, click here below. Here you can see different voltages for each panel. That is how much watt each panel is generating. For example, one panel is generating 248 watts. The second panel, 32 watts. The third, 240 watts. And the fourth around 30 watts. This means that two of our panels are now under shadow. I will show that as well. So I am directly showing this from my mobile while the screen recording is on. You can see two panels are fully covered and our system is still working perfectly. If these were in series, we would not even get 500 watts here. This is the video from the next day. Here you can see when all four panels are working, we are getting around 930 watts of supply. If you want to check the supply of each panel, you can see here one panel is giving 246 watts. The second one also 246 watts. The third one 240 watts and the fourth one almost 250 watts. So the best benefit benefit of a micro inverter is that you can check the generation of each panel. In case one panel has any problem, you can easily identify it 
and replace it but in a string inverter you do not get any such information and uh, you have to manually check all the panels that is why micro inverters can generate up to 20 percent extra electricity compared to string inverters so here you have seen how perfectly the micro inverter from hoi miles works and how much it can increase the efficiency of your complete system if you still have any questions or suggestions about it you can comment in the comment box if you like the video like it share it and also subscribe to our channel along with subscribing press the bell icon so that similar videos keep coming to you on time thank you